Welcome to the ThinApp Setup Capture Wizard. This wizard has five stages for creating a virtualized application. The pre-install scan, installation, post-scan, configure, and build. When we finish this process, we'll end up with a virtualized application that can be run directly from a network share, a USB key, or deployed to end-user desktops. When users click on a virtualized application, it runs instantly with no installation required. You can also consult the ThinApp community portal for advice on packaging specific applications. So let's get started. To prepare for the pre-scan stage, click Next. During the pre-scan stage, ThinApp will take a snapshot of the file system and registry on your clean machine. It's important to use an operating system instance with no other applications or libraries pre-installed during this capture process. You can optionally click on Advanced Scan Locations to customize the locations that Setup Capture will scan during this stage. During the installation phase, temporarily minimize the Setup Capture wizard to install the application you want to virtualize. In this example, we are virtualizing Opera. Install the application just like a typical user. When you complete the installation, launch your application. You can customize the application for your end users at this point. For example, set the default homepage and proxy information for your corporate environment. If rebooting the computer is required as part of the installation process, Setup Capture will automatically continue after reboot. When you're finished customizing the application, close it and return to Setup Capture. You're now ready for the post-scan stage. In this stage, ThinApp will take a snapshot of the file system and registry once again. ThinApp then compares the post-installation snapshot to the pre-installation snapshot. You can configure the virtual application before you build it. The selected user accessible entry points displayed here correspond to the executable files ThinApp will generate during the build process. By default, ThinApp selects the entry points that the installer generated. You can modify this list and select optional entry points for troubleshooting purposes. By default, everyone can use the virtualized application. You can limit access to specific Active Directory groups using this screen. You can change the access denied message for users who are not permitted to use the application. Isolation modes control whether the user can read from and write to physical locations on the computer from the virtualized application. Full write access allows a user to write to all non-system directories. Restricted write access allows the user to write only to the desktop and my documents directories. The isolation mode you selected in the wizard determines whether the user can write to specific locations on the physical computer. ThinApp creates a sandbox directory which stores redirected data for those locations the application is not permitted to write to. Each time a user restarts a virtualized application, the sandbox persists with previously modified data. VMware is building a database of anonymous statistics about applications you virtualize. In the future, this data will help you to plan the migrations of your applications to ThinApp. The inventory name will be used to create the sandbox folder for your virtualized application. The project location determines where ThinApp saves the results of this capture process. The primary data container is the main data file for the virtualized application. Each entry point requires this file to run. You can place the primary data container within one of the application entry points or in a separate .dat file. Select Generate MSI Package to easily deploy the virtualized application to remote desktops and create shortcuts and file type associations on those desktops. You can select Compress Virtual Package to reduce the size of the application on disk. Save your configuration settings. You can click Edit Package INI to further customize the application. 
You can also select Open Project Folder to browse and modify the list of captured files and registry keys. Click Build to generate executable files for this virtual application. You can view the executable files in the Build folder after clicking Finish. The bin folder contains executable files that you can deploy to end users with standard deployment tools. The default folder to find your executables is under C Program Files, VMware, VMware ThinApp, Captures, the name of the application, and then the bin folder. In a few simple steps, you've successfully virtualized an application with ThinApp.